Court Winnell Gilliams here from CLG Lifestyle. Hope you guys are feeling blessed and grateful to be alive. If you've not already subscribed to the platform, go ahead and do so right now. That way you can stay connected to what it is that I do as a lifestyle influencer, influencing you to love self. In this season, I'm creating a lot of content revolved around higher education and inspiring and encouraging you to pursue a long-awaited degree. Um, in this specific case, I'm talking about a legal education. Um, for those of you who are going to be watching this, you already know that this has been a long-awaited dream or a dream deferred, a dream that you may have felt you couldn't accomplish because life was lifing, right? You grew older, you had a family, kids, whatever the situation may be, and so you may have put aside this, this vision or this dream to receive a JD, a Juris Doctorate. Um, maybe you wanted to be a licensed attorney or just to have a higher education experience in the realm of a legal education, but not necessarily to be a practicing attorney. Whatever your situation is, um, this content is created to inspire you and to encourage you and to remind you of the importance of becoming the best version of yourself in all areas of your life. We see a lot of content around fitness, a lot of content around beauty and, and, and just everything culturally that's celebrated. But what about the mind, right? Yes, there's content around the mind, but it revolves around meditation and mindfulness, which is amazing, right? But we want to we wanna exercise the mind in a different way, right? We want to broaden our horizons. We want to tap into industries and realms and experiences that, uh, that requires training, that requires education, that requires personal development, professional development. So if this is something that interests you, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll leave some information towards the end of the video where you can stay connected and continue to receive digital content, whether that's products, services, or experiences um, that you can subscribe to um, via email and uh, a subscription to the, the online platform. With that being said, if you review some of my recent content, you'll see that I've been creating con uh, videos around um, just getting people motivated, getting people inspired to take an unconventional path to law school. So for those of you who have done your research or have been um, doing your research currently, trying to figure out what's the best path for you. Traditionally, I'm going to mention some traditional paths that people have taken that is well known, specifically within the Western civilization when it comes to legal education, right? So typically what is done is you get your bachelor's degree, right? These are prerequisites. You have to have a bachelor's degree, okay? After the bachelor's degree, you need to take a standardized test called the LSAT. Now, uh, law schools have included the GRE, which is another standardized test for people who, um, who are pursuing a master's. Um, that is a prerequisite um, in some grad schools um, in order for you to uh, pursue a master's or complete a master's degree. Now the, the law schools are including the GRE standardized tests and of course the illustrious LSAT um, to, um, to be a determining, one of the determining factors. Now we hear a lot of admissions talk about, you know, the LSAT is not the overall decision maker, right? They uh, use or evaluate different experiences depending on what you put on your, on your application right they evaluate your, your application as a whole but I tend to believe that ultimately in order for you to get into the best schools right um, your LSAT score it you know it's gonna be the the deter the determining factor that weighs the most right so nonetheless uh, this platform here is going to encourage you to consider unconventional paths right so oftentimes when you if you're if you're in the legal or in the um in the realm of legal studies right or legal interests 
you'll know that there are T14 schools, right? These are the top 14 law schools in the nation, right? Now, some of you may have had some of these schools on your top three law schools to attend, right? Now, you know, excuse me, you know that, um, as I said before, you know, the requirements to get into those schools, right? One of them being um, a high LSAT score. And sometimes these schools even require, you know, just information from your high school years. And some of you guys didn't even graduate traditional high school. You eventually got your GED or high school equiv uh, equivalency diploma. So, and then went on, went on to community college. Your grades or GPA may not, may not have been up to par, right? Oftentimes these T14 schools require, you know, at minimum, at least a 3.0 GPA. Okay, so I want you to consider all of these factors when determining your decision or evaluating your options when it comes to pursuing a legal education. Now, this is where the the hope, right, and the encouragement comes for you because there are schools, okay, valid accredited schools that will uh, accept you, of course, right? Nothing is guaranteed, but granted you meet the minimum qualifications, you will be able to be accepted into their program. Specifically in the state of California, in the jurisdiction of California, there is a state bar uh, accredit accreditation, right? The state has an accreditation community or committee, excuse me, that accredits schools, right? Depending on, you know, on, um, granted, excuse me, that they meet the standards, the regulations, and the expectations set forth by the uh, committee, you will be able to attend the law school, right? Now, the the expectations, right? The um, the requirements are not as prestigious or top tier as some of the T14s, but the point is. We want to get the prestige out of you, right? We want to get the cultural opinions out of you. And we want you to make the decisions that's right for you. It's not about prestige. It's not about, you know, the most popular school or the most well-known school. It's about the school being right for you that is able to accommodate your experiences, whether you are a, a full-time employee, whether you're someone who's maybe older, maybe you're someone who, again, cannot commit to a full-time traditional law school schedule, which is five days a week, nine to five. They don't want you to have a job, okay? They want you to commit your whole life to that um, rigorous training and development, which is a valid, valid, valid um, advice, right? But also maybe you want to consider maybe a part-time law school schedule. Maybe you want to consider an evening law school uh, schedule. Maybe you want to consider a complete online law school schedule or a hybrid. Hybrid meaning part on campus, part online. These are options, right, and opportunities that has come about as a result of committees like the State Bar who have made the, the entrance into the legal system or into the legal realm uh, more open to certain demographics who have been held back because of you know multiple reasons okay we're not going to get into that right now so this platform is going to encourage you right if you are so interested if you really desire to you know to pursue this long awaited dream to do this thing that you know will change the trajectory of your life your, your family's life you yourself um, and if you are most importantly someone who's called to serve being an attorney you know Hollywood has glamorized the profession of a lawyer or an attorney, but it is a job that is truly called for those who are meant to serve because you are committing your life to um, to advocacy, right? You are committing your life to um, sustaining ethical uh, ethical behavior, um, just justness, right? We live in a society, again, where laws and uh, precepts and ordinances can be reevaluated and restructured to be more uh, palatable, for lack of better words, right? And so, with your experiences, with your background, with the things that you can bring to the legal realm because of your unique voice, right? You need to have, um, you need to be able to, um, to be one authentic to you, authentic to your experiences, because that is what's going to set you apart. 
So at the end of the day, whether you go, and I'm gonna round up this video, whether you go to Columbia, right? This is, these are, I'm gonna mention some T14 schools, okay? Whether you go to Columbia, Harvard, right? Um, Georgetown, uh, uh, I believe USC is one of them as well, UCLA, uh, Princeton, with, you know, University of Pennsylvania, right? These are the top, some of the top T14s that people, you know what I'm saying, if they don't get into it, it's like the end of the world. But because you know who you are, right? You who are watching this video right now, because you are discerning, because you know it's bigger than just a school. It's more about a purpose being fulfilled and lives being changed. You're gonna consider an unconventional path to law school. So if that interests you and you wanna know more, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Check out clglifestyle.com. That way you can subscribe to the platform outside of social media and receive email uh, email content that will help you um, not only inspire you as far as your educational endeavors, but inspire you to become the best version of yourself in regards to fitness, faith, fashion, food, community development, family, and just being your true authentic self, okay? With that being said, beautiful people, thank you so much for watching and talk to you guys soon.